The Boeing 737 MAX was introduced by Boeing in 2017 as the latest and most advanced member of their popular 737 aircraft family. It boasted impressive features such as enhanced fuel efficiency, improved range and state-of-the-art technology. With such promising attributes, it's no wonder this aircraft caught the attention of aviation enthusiasts worldwide. However, there was a delicate issue that led to its global grounding. What is this issue and how was it solved? Guys, join us today as we delve into the intricate details of the Boeing 737 MAX, exploring both its fall and its triumphant return to the skies. Let's begin. In 2017, Boeing, one of the leading aircraft manufacturers, unveils its newest addition to the 737 family, the Boeing 737 MAX. It was a sleek and modern plane designed to be more fuel efficient and packed with state-of-the-art technology. Airlines worldwide were excited to upgrade their fleets and passengers eagerly away to their next MAX experience. But little did they know that this aircraft's journey would be far from smooth sailing. On the 29th of October 2018, tragedy struck when Lion Air Flight 610 crashed into the Java Sea 13 minutes after takeoff from Jakarta, Indonesia, killing 189 people. The second crash, which also occurred on March 10, 2019, when Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 departed Addis Ababa Bol International Airport bound for Nairobi, Kenya, crashed just after takeoff, killing 149 passengers and 8 crew members, making the death toll 346 in total. The world was stunned. Investigations revealed a disturbing flaw in the aircraft's design. A new system called MCAS, or the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System. The Boeing 737 MAX accidents can be attributed to several factors that intertwined to create a perfect storm of unfortunate circumstances. First and foremost, the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, or MCAS, emerged as a primary factor behind the crashes. Designed as an automated system, MCAS aimed to prevent the aircraft from stalling by adjusting the angle of attack. However, it relied on data from a single sensor, which introduced the potential for erroneous readings. This flaw in the system's design laid the groundwork for the subsequent chain of events. As investigations unfolded, it became evident that the MCAS system received faulty sensor data, leading to a misinterpretation of the angle of attack. This critical error caused the system to push the aircraft's nose down when it was not necessary, ultimately resulting in a loss of control. The erroneous sensor readings compounded the already challenging situation, exacerbating the severity of the crashes. Another contributing factor was the inadequate training and awareness among pilots regarding the MCAS system. Many pilots were not sufficiently informed about the system's existence and its potential impact on flight control. This knowledge gap proved to be detrimental as it hindered pilots' ability to effectively respond to the abnormal flight behavior triggered by the MCAS system. The lack of comprehensive training and awareness played a significant role in exacerbating the consequences of design flaws. Questions were also raised about the certification process and regulatory oversight surrounding the Boeing 737 MAX. Concerns emerged that the initial certification may not have thoroughly evaluated the risks associated with the MCAS system. This revelation sparked important discussions within the industry highlighting the need for more robust certification procedures and enhanced collaboration between aircraft manufacturers and regulatory bodies. Ensuring rigorous evaluations and oversight mechanisms are in place is essential to prevent similar incidents in the future. In addition to these technical and regulatory aspects, industry pressures and the competitive environment also influenced the series of events leading to the crashes, with rival Airbus launching the fuel-efficient A320neo series. Boeing faced intense pressure to quickly develop and deliver the Boeing 737 MAX to stay competitive. This urgency to maintain market share and meet customer demands might have contributed to certain compromises in terms of design, testing and pilot training. The competitive landscape within the aviation industry can exert significant influence, sometimes leading to unintended consequences. The Global Grounding and Investigations after extensive investigations carried out by aviation authorities and experts worldwide, it became evident that the Boeing 737 MAX was facing significant safety concerns due to design flaws and the crashes it had been involved in. As a result, a series of unprecedented events unfolded, leading to the global grounding of the aircraft. Now, let's delve into the sequence of events and explore how Boeing was ultimately stopped from flying the 737 MAX. 
following the tragic crashes of Lion Air Flight 610 in October 2018 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 in March 2019. Aviation authorities, including the Federal Aviation Administration, began thorough investigations into the causes of these accidents. As the investigations progressed, alarming similarities between the two crashes were identified, primarily related to the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, the MCAS, and its flawed operation. As concerns grew, several countries and airlines around the world decided to take proactive measures to ensure the safety of their passengers and crews. The first significant blow came from China, which decided to ground the all Boeing 737 MAX aircraft operated by Chinese Airlines on March 11, 2019, just days after the Ethiopian Airlines crash. This move by one of the world's largest aviation markets sent shockwaves throughout the industry and set a precedent for further actions to be taken. In the following days, more and more countries and airlines followed suit, issuing ground orders for the Boeing 737 MAX. Aviation authorities in Europe, including the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, also known as EASA, the United Kingdom, and many other nations swiftly decided to suspend the aircraft's operations. This was done to ensure the safety of the flying public until further investigations could be conducted and necessary safety measures implemented. The Federal Aviation Administration, which is responsible for aircraft certification and regulatory oversight in the United States, initially resisted grounding the Boeing 737 MAX. However, mounting pressure from lawmakers, the public and the international community eventually forced the FAA to reverse its stance. On March 13, 2019, the FAA issued an emergency order grounding all Boeing 737 MAX aircraft in the United States. This decision mirrored the actions taken by other nations, solidifying the global grounding of the aircraft. With the grounding in effect, Boeing found itself facing significant challenges. The company had to address the design flaws and issues identified during the investigations, primarily related to the MCAS system. Boeing worked diligently to develop software updates and other corrective measures to ensure the safe operation of the 737 MAX fleet. However, the process was not a quick one. Months went by as Boeing worked closely with aviation authorities and regulators to gain approval for the necessary modifications. Rigorous testing, evaluations and collaboration between Boeing, the FAA and other international agencies were conducted to restore confidence in the aircraft's safety. The Boeing 737 MAX's return to the skies after the Boeing 737 MAX was allowed to fly again in November 2020, it successfully returned to service with many airlines worldwide. Despite concerns about its reputation following the accidents, airlines have shown confidence in using this popular aircraft. Not only that, but Boeing has also received a significant number of orders for the 737 MAX, even after the grounding. Since November 2020, they have received 1,215 orders with 360 orders still coming in. Boeing has been working diligently to fulfill these orders, delivering 476 airplanes to customers since December 2020. Since its reintroduction, the 737 MAX has had a few airworthiness directives or ADs issued to address certain issues. These include fixing electrical grounding in September 2021, resolving a fuel shutoff problem through a software update in December, and addressing radio altimeters and 5G interference in March 2021. However, these issues are not crucial to safety and are comparable to routine maintenance for older aircraft models. Boeing is actively taking steps to identify and rectify any minor faults in the 737 MAX. They hold regular meetings with the airlines operating the aircraft and take responsibility for monitoring its performance. This allows Boeing to quickly identify any trends or underlying problems and develop necessary fixes even before the airlines notice them. This proactive approach demonstrates Boeing's commitment to rebuilding trust and confidence in the aircraft. And it appears that their efforts are paying off. With nearly 800,000 revenue flights completed, the 737 MAX has disproven the unfounded claims made in 2019 by those who said they would never fly on a MAX again. It is likely that over 100 million passengers have flown on a MAX in the past year and a half and enjoyed their experience. Alright guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe so you never miss out on any exciting story. See you next time.